and his revolutionary council, mm -hmm. you know, overthrew uh, King Farouk in 1952. Mm -hmm. You know, power was handed over to General Negu mm -hmm. because the younger officers were not known in Egyptian society. Mm -hmm. So to be on the safe side, you know, they put Negu there as a figurehead, mm -hmm. hoping to manipulate him, you know, from behind. Mm -hmm. Nasa, Sadat, and the rest, they were all members of the Revolutionary Council. Mm -hmm. But Negib, you know, proved too independent mm -hmm. for Nasa and his group. So they shoved him aside, and Nasa took over as president mm -hmm. himself. You know, when he died, you know, later in 71, uh, Sadat took over. Mm -hmm. You know, Sadat was vice president at that time. Sadat mm -hmm. took over as president. Mm -hmm. You know, when Sadat was assassinated in 1981, Mubarak mm -hmm. became president himself mm -hmm. and one funny thing is that for 30 years Mubarak didn't have any vice president mm -hmm. he refused to because he didn't want anybody but to think <laughs> they want to take over oh, from him mm -hmm. yeah it was just on 28th of uh, almost 30 general, years did yeah. he operate without a vice president that's, I mean, <laughs> that's correct was there any idea as to who might succeed him if if, if something happened to him well he he that's that's where we're coming to now mm -hmm. He actually wanted his son to succeed him. Mm -hmm. That's part of the anger of the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. He wanted to put his son in the Gamal Mubarak. Mm -hmm. They already started grooming him. He already was appointed head of the, you know, uh, part of the political organization, mm -hmm. the National Democratic Party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he didn't have any vice president because of it. So he wanted to make sure that place is open. Mm -hmm. It was only on the 28th, 29th of January that mm -hmm. he appointed Al Masuleman. Mm -hmm who is the chief of the secret police, mm -hmm. you know, as vice president, mm -hmm. and started trying to hand over power to him. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is exactly, you know, how, you know, the power structure has been since NASA. Mm -hmm. One significant thing is that everybody who has ruled Egypt since 1952 has been a military man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that shows the preponderance of the military in Egyptian, you know, society. Now, when Mubarak stepped down a week ago, he handed over to the to the Supreme Military Council, mm -hmm. headed by Field Marshal Mohammed Hussein Tantawe, who is the Minister of Defense. That's the group that's ruling the country now. Mm -hmm. Now, what are, what is the effect, mm -hmm. you know, on the, of, on of, 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 of of the Egyptian Revolution on other Arab countries? Mm -hmm. Yemen, you know, there has been demonstrations in Yemen calling on President Abdullah Saleh to step down. Mm -hmm. Saleh has been in power since 1978. Mm -hmm. He's been in power for 32 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the people are calling on him now to step down. But he has said he's going to step down when his term expires in 2013. Mm -hmm. The people say, no, you have to step down now. Mm -hmm. What worries, you know, the U.S. administration about Yemen, mm -hmm. that Yemen is the center of terrorism now in the Middle East and also fighting a secessionist insurgency in the South. Mm -hmm. There were two Yemens before. It was only in 1990 that they met to become one country. Mm -hmm. The South Yemen is again trying to succeed. So you have that problem too, mm -hmm. combined with terrorism, terrorism. Mm -hmm. and combined with the current demonstrations. Mm -hmm. All indications are that Saleh's government might fall or that the country might plunge into a civil war. Mm -hmm. In Algeria, you have the same problem. Since 1992, when the, the military also you know, canceled an election, Mm -hmm. won by the Islamic Salvation Front. Mm -hmm. There has been an Islamic insurgency in Algeria. Mm -hmm. In 1999, a veteran of Algerian politics called Abdelaziz Bouteflika mm -hmm. became president. He's been president since 1999. Mm -hmm. But now there are demonstrations in Algeria for him to step down mm -hmm. because his party, the National Liberation Front of Algeria, has been in power mm -hmm. since Algeria gained independence mm -hmm. in 1962 when Bendela became president. Mm -hmm. So they want that structure dismantled. Mm -hmm. But the army, it's like the Egyptian army also, the role they play in Algeria mm -hmm. is, is, is a part of the governmental structure because they've been running that country mm -hmm. since independence till today. In Jordan, that's a different case altogether under King Abdullah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people want reforms now, mm -hmm. trying to make him a constitutional monarch, you know, like the queen, mm -hmm. instead of an absolute monarch, which he is now. Mm -hmm. Actually, his, his dynasty has ruled that country since, you know, time immemorial. Mm -hmm. In fact, his father, the late King Hussein, mm -hmm. you know, was king from the 1950s when, mm -hmm. he, when his own father was assassinated. Mm -hmm. When he died, you know, in 1999, you know, his son, King Abdullah, took over. Mm -hmm. So the people think it's time now for reforms, mm -hmm. you know, to reform the monarchy to fit modern times. In Libya, 
a lot of demonstrations now against Conor Gaddafi. You know, he's been in power since 1969 mm -hmm. and shows no sign of stepping down. You know, some people think he's trying to, you know, put his son mm -hmm. in there, you know, as to, to, to succeed him. Mm -hmm. he, he has organized some counter demonstrations, you know, mm -hmm. pro-government demonstrations like they did in Egypt, mm -hmm. okay. you know, against the, those against his government. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then in Sudan, President Omar Hassan El Bashir has been in there since 1989 when he overthrew the government of uh, mm -hmm. Sadiq El Mahdi. Now that the south of Sudan is going to be independent, mm -hmm. a lot of the, the Muslim groups in the country are calling for him to step down. Mm -hmm. In fact, the, 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 the chief intellectual uh, gadfly of the Islamic movement in Sudan, a man called Hassan Al Turabi, mm -hmm. has already called for Bashir to step down. Mm -hmm. Indications are if South Sudan declares its independence as, it, as possible, you know, on, mm -hmm. on July 9th this year, mm -hmm. it will, you know, compound by, you know, Bashar's problem already. Mm -hmm. You remember he's already under indictment by the International Criminal mm -hmm. Court. And so a lot of Northerners are blaming him for the South mm -hmm. succeeding, mm -hmm. you know. So with that, and given the fact that he's been there since 1989, People are, you know, are calling on him now to step down. That's mm -hmm. one place to watch. Mm -hmm. That's what might happen in the next few months mm -hmm. if the, when the South declares its independence. Mm -hmm. In Morocco, people are demonstrating now also against the king. Uh, the king who came in, he's been there since 1999. When his father died, his father was King Hassan II. Mm -hmm. He ruled the country from 1961 mm -hmm. until 99. When he died, then his son, you know, mm -hmm. Mohammed V. <laughs> to go, oh, Mahmoud yeah. VI, took mm -hmm. over as president and he, as king, and he's been there since 1999. The problem is a lot of, you know, the citizens, mm -hmm. the Berbers mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in, in Morocco, mm -hmm. regard the royal family as an Arab imposition on them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in fact, when king, king Hassan was president, he was nearly overthrown twice by the army. Let's hold it back there, Dr. Abdul, and, and, and all of this intrigue. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we're uh, going to take this uh, second commercial break, and we'll be back with our audience following this uh, short commercial break. Topic is the revolution.